started with one man with a passion for broadcasting and a vision to connect with Rochester's African-American community through radio. I remember when the station started. Uh, in fact, my uncle was part of the group, but nobody had the vision that he had. You know, they would have sold a long time ago. Okay. He just had this tenacious thing about him in this station and black people. Andrew Langston was born in Dawson, Georgia in 1927. As a young man, he learned broadcasting from legends like Edward R. Morrow and Walter Cronkite. But opportunities for blacks in broadcasting were virtually non-existent in those days. So he turned to sales, banking, and insurance, where he found great success. We met him, I did, uh, selling insurance. And uh, Andy came, he said, Mr. Slantron, I want you to purchase insurance, you need it. So I said, Andy, I, I don't have the money. He said, you don't have the money, but you still need insurance, Mr. Slantron. I said, I don't have the money. I said, your, your policies are pretty high. I don't have the money, Andy. He put me aside, he said, listen, don't, don't you say that in front of anybody. I'll give you the money. When he came to Rochester in 1960 with his young family, he saw a lack of entertainment and information for the black community. It was a struggle for sure, competing before the FCC beginning in 1968 for the last available FM frequency in Rochester. The opposition was strong. The opposition was, was strong. Uh, uh, those uh, persons that were in media at the time did not want to uh, Andy uh, to, or the other blacks along with it, to have access. But on April 6, 1974, Andrew Langston's passion and his vision united as WDKX began broadcasting full-time on 103.9 FM. When you think back 40 years ago, here's a man, Andrew Langston, who had a dream, um, a dream of owning his own radio station. And here's a dream that has become a reality, and a lot of people can't say that. He gave the black community its first entrance into strong communications for our community. And for being that example of, like that stellar example of a black run business, and really how you can have the power and utilize, you know, the voice. That passion and vision included a dedication to the community that he and WDKX served. He was a, <laughs> uncompromising when it came to black people. I'm going to call it WDKX. And then that went through this community like wildfire. That is call letters. To start with, with Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X. Um, here was a man established with this radio station who took time out of his day to come meet with us to talk about our concerns and to find ways to help uh, really make a difference in this community. But the first year I ran for the county legislature, Andy gave every candidate five minutes of radio time, free time for us to talk on the air. It was an astonishing gift. This concern about our children getting a positive education and learning about uh, uh, their history. WDKX has had a major, major impact on this community. Andy transferred that love and interest in his own son to other young people in our community. And this, of course, made him such a great personality uh, in our community. And that's what WDKX did. It served the entire community, but it really focused on black people and the issues around black people and how important it was for black people to stick together and understand where our power base really was and where we spent our money, by the way. But WDKX was and is a business. You said many times in my presence, uh, you know, you can't do anything in life, Minister Florence, without money. I wanted handouts and I had to bring something in order to get that. 
So what happened is that I figured out a way to get nonprofits to advertise with him. And he in turn gave us matching dollars. And to this day, we're still getting matching dollars at Garth Fagan Dance. Because Andy Langston wasn't going to sell out. And we talked about that. I know he was under enormous pressure to sell the station. It was a great station with lots of listeners and people really wanted to buy it. Andrew Langston was also a friend and a mentor to many. And the first time that I came in, and I don't know what, I, I can't describe it to you, but I just felt like I was home. Good things happen here. Basically, he thought I was doing a tremendous job, and if I had issues with, uh, say, my landlord or something like that, he would always tell me, when you're doing a good job, they're going to always come after you, Gene. So remember that. Keep doing what you're doing. He's always been Mr. Langston. So in any copy that I wrote, it was always Mr. Langston. Um, out of respect for really what he has done in this community and what, what he's done for this community. Um, it's, it is major. Mm -hmm. Sometimes words don't capture it. He was in every sense a friend and a mentor to me. He used to tell me I was his favorite. And uh, I'm sure he told other people that, but I believed him. And the result to the community from all of Andrew Langston's passion, vision, dedication, and talent? Success. One of the, 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 the most important part of advertising on WDKX was it always worked. And I am absolutely positive without any doubt that Andy Langston helped me get that message across that, and, and got a lot of votes for me. We were hugely successful in a major part because of our association with DKX because we recognized the power of BKX and latched right onto it. It's been 40 years since the sign-on of WDKX, but the effort to build the dream stretches back well before that. Today, we celebrate that dream and that passion that endures on the air every day. I wish WDKX a very happy, happy 40th anniversary and thank them, Mr. Langston, uh, Mrs. Langston, and the entire family for their dedication and contributions to Rochester and to the entire community. Happy birthday, WDKX. A happy 40th anniversary, and I look forward to the 50th. I say fabulous, congratulations, and another 40 years. The great staff of uh, WDKX and Mrs. Langston and Andre that you all are carrying on a great tradition uh, in the honor of uh, Andrew Langston. And I, uh, along with this community, want to thank you uh, for your service uh, in this community. And happy 40th anniversary. Rochester, you are our WDKX family. Thank you for our first 40 years.